What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be taking a look at a seven figure Shopify store. If you ask me, there's no better people to learn from than those people doing it successfully. So for example, if you wanted to learn how to drive a car, you obviously wouldn't learn from somebody who isn't a trained instructor or doesn't have a driving license. If you want to learn how to lose weight, you obviously wouldn't seek the help of somebody who was overweight. So today we're going to be breaking down the three core elements and fundamentals to every successful Shopify store. So these guys we're going to be taking and look at we'll be having a look at their Facebook ads the products they're selling I managed to find it on Aliexpress too so you can see exactly how much profit they're making and we're also going to be taking a look at their Shopify store as well so that's the topic of the video thanks for tuning in I hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to comment like and subscribe I read all the comments so if there's a question you guys want to ask me just pop it down below and I will get back to you and with that being said let's jump straight into it so the Shopify store in question is called Galaxy Cove they sell one product in fact that's a lie they sell two products but they're best seller if I show you now using Shopify inspector uh, go to products go to best sellers we can see their best selling product is indeed this Galaxy Cove projector if you want to buy one of them they're going to charge you $80 if you buy two of them $135 so 15% off but I've gone ahead found this pretty much identical looking product if you look at all the different details even down to the point of what the actual buttons look like um, I believe it's an identical product. This is for $25 delivered in 10 days to Germany. I've been looking at Germany recently. Um, so $25 all in, and I believe these guys are selling it for you know, one for $80. So the profit margins are super high. They can afford to go up to probably a Facebook cost for purchase of $20. Um, and still produce a pretty decent profit after everything. If we take a look at the site itself, um, it's a really interesting example because in my opinion, it's nothing special. If you download the latest version of the Debutify theme, in my opinion, that looks more professional than this does, but it just goes to show that as long as you get the three key fundamentals right, so that is the Shopify store, the product, and the actual Facebook ad itself, um, then you're always gonna do pretty well regardless of kind of what levels you then take it to. So it's a pretty basic theme. They have a couple of different add-ons which I'll point out as we go through. So these two here are simply an app in which you can download from the Shopify app store to put kind of different features and benefits. It's always nice to point out to your customers the good things about your product or the good things about your business to encourage them to make a sale, so free shipping or grab an extra 15% off. This is also an add-on as well, or I believe it could be an image too. Um, I would have to double check, but either way, super easy to implement, super cheap to implement. Moving into the product description then, we can see it's very simple. In fact, the layout is very basic. However, it's pleasing to the eye because of the fonts they've used. They've separated the paragraphs up with different headings um, in bold as well. So you can clearly see the different features in which they want to promote. And then at the bottom, they have a what's in the box so the customer knows exactly what it is they're getting. These are all really basic things which a customer would expect to see when they're buying a product, especially a product which they might not be familiar with because this is quite a unique unique products that you're not going to see in your everyday store, then people might be slightly confused about what essentially it actually is. So you need to spell it out. You need to point out all the different functions and features and exactly what it is they are getting if they buy your product. What really helps sell this product is the fact that it's branded. I haven't actually ordered one of these myself, so I'm not 100% sure whether it actually comes with the logo on or not. I have ordered from dropshipping sites in the past to test and just because you see a logo on the product, it doesn't necessarily mean it will come with a logo on the product, but obviously by having that image on your site, it makes you look 10 times more professional. If we take a look at the product images, we can see they're all in this kind of vertical format, like they've been taken on a mobile phone, like they are indeed customer images. So some one of the little things that I like to recommend to people is when you take an image, or when you have an image, sorry, on your Shopify site of your particular product, take it or crop it so it looks like it's been taken on a mobile phone or actually take it on a mobile phone even better and then have a little logo in either across the middle or in the bottom right hand corner that says customer image if you can kind of give across that impression that loads of customers have bought this particular product um, and posted their own images again it legitimizes your business makes you look that much more professional what essentially you want to do is when people come onto your site give them absolutely zero hesitations or zero reasons not to trust you as a professional business Moving down, you've probably recognized this app by now. It's called Looks Reviews, over 300 reviews, which is awesome. Um, I read a study recently, I can't remember the exact numbers, but I think it was once a product hit over 60 reviews, 
then there was a certain percentage of people I'd have to double check. If I can find it, I'll put it on screen now. But it's like when your product reaches over 60 reviews and something like 70% of people then start to trust it or those kind of hesitations behind whether your business is legit enough and whether they'll actually trust you go away once you hit something like 60 plus reviews. If we move down then, um, not to spend too long on the store, a couple of other things I wanna point out. They have a shipping and delivery page which clearly illustrates the shipping and delivery times. They have this bit again, which just kind of legitimizes their business. So they basically them saying we work with US, UPS, FedEx, and so on. They have a returns and refunds procedure. So everybody can see what will happen if they want to get their money back. And then they also have a counterfeits and fakes, which kind of helps establish them as the original kind of producer um, and owner of this particular product. And then if we go to the contact us page, they have a support email and they have a physical address. Again, all these little things add up to a professional legitimate business, which ultimately becomes more trustworthy in a customer's eyes. Taking a look at their Facebook ads then, this is the Facebook ad library. Any page which is running Facebook ads, you can do this for. So it's super easy and quick to find and see exactly Exactly what ads they are running. Um, there's a couple of ads I want to show you which in my mind, in my eyes, are the reasons why these guys have been so successful in the past year. If we scroll to the top, they've only been around since April 23rd. So they're only just a year over and they've hit over a million dollars in sales. Um, in fact, going back to that point, um, here's some quick maths just to go through. So on average, if we take a look at similar web, we can see the traffic overview over the past six months has been around 50K um, visitors. So we take 50,000 visits per month, 2% conversion rate, which is for the for the price of the products is probably about right and maybe slightly lower, it could be even higher. A um, thousand orders at an $80 average order value, that's if somebody just orders one. So these are rough ballpark figures, equals 80,000 per month or approximately $1 million per year. Going back to their Facebook ads then, I just wanna show you a couple of these so you can see exactly what it is and what contributes towards a successful Facebook ad campaign and ultimately then a successful business original content basically. If we take a look at this middle one here and play this, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the music or not, but if somebody was to see this video, it's such an awesome like attention grabbing audio because the effects of the actual products are, are just awesome. It looks so cool. I'll show you the comments. I'll put a video overlay on now of the people commenting on their Facebook ad and everybody absolutely loves this product. One of the best things you can do as an advertiser is get people to go back to the Facebook comment section of your post and leave a positive review there because they're probably gonna be seen more than the actual reviews on the product page. And the fact that it's coming from a real Facebook profile on Facebook makes the review that much more legit. Um, if you've been following me from the very beginning, you know one of my very first products that sold successfully was the LED dog collar. The reason it sold so well, again, is because it was such a visual product. And what I found was so many people will put them on their dogs go out walking in the dark in the dark they'll be super impressed by the visibility and the brightness of the color they take a picture and then when they got home they'd go back to the original post and post it on there and there was a week or two where I had some like half a dozen people go back and post um, images and the conversion rate during those couple of weeks increased significantly because people could see it was legitimate people real people who had bought my product liked the product come back and left a positive review and instantly people trusted my business that much more and felt that much more comfortable to actually buy the product itself to finish the video off I don't want to make these videos too long short sharp to the point and hopefully inform informative um, as possible. This is one of my favorite ads. I've, it's come across in my newsfeed numerous times. So I want to show you guys it to show how show you how cool it actually is. So if I play this, um, you should be able to hear the music and when it hits, obviously you get the really loud kind of production of music. You can see the effects of the product. And again, it's just really attention grabbing. It's the sort of thing that anybody would see and think that looks pretty cool. The target market is obviously open to pretty much anybody from the three-year-old child who wants a nightlight to help them sleep all the way up to an adult who might be having a party or having it in a chill room or in the library or whatever it could be so in its essence to kind of summarize the video they do the three core fundamentals really really well they have a good 
professional looking Shopify site with lots of contact information, lots of reviews, original images, the logo plastered everywhere, and a simple compact product description. One thing I forgot to mention in fact is they have this buy with Google Pay. I'm not a big fan of Google Pay. In fact, I don't think I know a single person who uses Google Pay, so I removed this from my site um, and just keep PayPal and Apple Pay. Um, the second fundamental they do really, really well is the product itself is super cool. It's super attention grabbing. It's super unique. When somebody comes across this particular product on social media, there isn't a shop in the world, um, or at least to my knowledge, that would instantly come into your mind and think, ah, oh, I can get that product from that particular site. So it kind of makes this product original and unique and owned by Galaxy Cove themselves, even though there's loads of other sites in which you can get it from. And then point number three is the actual Facebook ads themselves. Original content, super effective to the point, and you can see they just speak for themselves in terms of the results. With that being said, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me the favor of hitting subscribe to keep up to date with my latest content. Please leave any comments or questions down below. Um, anything you wanna ask me, I'll read every single one, so I will get back to you. And one final thing then before you go, if you are looking for a training program to help you get started down the right path and build sites like this and find products like this, um, please check out my Ecom Academy. It comes with my full support and guidance as well. So along this way, if you have any questions or need any help with your business, then I'll be there to support you along with the Facebook group, which has a really great um, bunch of members in it. If you want to hop on the phone and talk with me, all calls are with me. So it'll be me personally that you're talking to, to go through any questions you have about joining. We can do that. You can book a free callback service. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.